My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, peace be with you. Last Sunday, we have heard of the story of how Jesus was rejected by his relatives in Nazareth. I have told you that his message and his very person, more often than not, they surprise us. They bring us to that situation that we ask questions. There are only two responses for these. Either we commit ourselves to Jesus with our whole heart or to reject Him. Although last Sunday's Gospel did not mention the content of what Jesus thought, but we are pretty sure of this. He thought about the Kingdom of God. This Sunday, we are confronted with the continuation of the story. Jesus now invites his apostles to share in this mission of proclamation. He called them, as in chapter 3 of the same Gospel of Mark, he asked them to be with him, to learn from him, and only then they will be sent out. The Gospel of today is the maturity of this being with Jesus Christ, of learning from Him. They are now given a share of this ministry, a share of this authority over evil, but also a share of His rejection. That's why in the Gospel of today, Jesus reminded His apostles that if they will not receive the message, You've got to shake off the dust from your sandals. Jesus knew already that the same message that the apostles would proclaim will always be rejected by people who are not willing to welcome the grace of the Lord. How should they preach? There is a reminder from the Lord Jesus Christ. You must preach about repentance. You must anoint the sick. You must teach. You must take good care of those who are weak. In this way, evil will be vanquished. Teaching and taking good care of one another. That is precisely how the kingdom of God works. It allows us to see the teachings of the Lord that brings His compassion and mercy. And after we have experienced this compassion, we begin to be compassionate to one another. Beautifully, the kingdom of God never leaves a person in the same state of selfishness. They have to go two by two, Jesus said. Many scholars would say that this was the ancient Christian's practice when they preach. They go together. But I would say this is also a preaching that is very Christian-like in the way that we cannot do it by ourselves. It must be the work of a community. Jesus proclaimed from time to time he was rejected. The apostles proclaimed they too were rejected. The church today will have the same experience. But these rejections, they will not prevent the church in proclaiming the kingdom of God. This kingdom of God that allows us to see better, this kingdom of God that allows us to see beyond selfishness and to look at the mercy and the grace of the Lord poured on each one of us. There is a very curious reminder given by the Lord. Even for a very frugal pilgrim, his reminder does not make sense. You're supposed only to take a staff. No money, no food in the bag. It's quite difficult, isn't it? But you see, this is not just any reminder. Jesus gives a recommendation so that the apostles will grow in this authority over evil. They must not provide for themselves. They must go beyond their selfish needs. They must go beyond even what they want and they need. The more we move away from self, the greater is authority 
and this power over evil. The more we learn how to forget ourselves, the greater is the effectiveness in proclaiming the kingdom of God. The church of today, you and I, who are part of this church, are called to move away from this egoism so that again, the kingdom of God will illumine the experience of humanity these days. Go to the houses, eat what they prepare. If they welcome you, stay there. If they will not, shake off the dust from your feet. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, rejection should not stop us. Difficulty should not stop us. On the contrary, it must grant us the grace, the courage once more to be committed to the Lord Jesus Christ. The apostles were not strong. They were also very weak. But it is the grace of the Lord that strengthens them. Saint Paul will have his say when he exclaimed, It is not I who lives, it is Christ living in me. The apostles were invited to be part of this authority. And from that time on, they understood it must be Christ living in them. My prayer today, when we celebrate our Sunday liturgy, when we listen to the Lord, be challenged once more. Listen to His invitation to become witnesses of this gospel, of this kingdom of God. Let me remind you, you will know that the kingdom of God is truly growing within your heart if evil will not have the victory over it. You will know that the kingdom of God is growing in your lives when selfishness becomes a past event in everything that you do. Service becomes your language. Taking good care of others becomes your mission. And the kingdom of God truly is in you when you begin to preach to others that the mercy of the Lord is greater than our malice. My prayer, may the Lord continue to inspire us. May He grant us once more this commitment and the zeal so that even in front of indifference, in front of ridicule and insult, in front of rejection, we will not be discouraged because we know that the message that we proclaim is greater than our strength. This is Father Ulrich of the Rogationist Fathers wishing you the peace and the strength of the Lord Jesus Christ.